Well, Anna Paula Tavares joins me now. Welcome to the, the Forum for the Future of Agriculture. You're the Executive Vice President of the Rainforest Alliance. And I know that later on this afternoon in today's conference, you're going to be one of the respondents talking about disrupting and rethinking innovation with regard to the agricultural mo model. I wonder if I can start by asking you what your main message will be, because so far from the speakers we've heard, a lot of people have talked about complexity. They've also talked about whether or not we're all going to agree on the solutions, and I guess that's one of the reasons for the forum here today. So, of course, these issues are very complex, but I think we also need to make an effort not to overcomplicate them. Um, and while these are not simple issues, they are complex, I think that we have seen a number of, of solutions and out there, and, and it's about commitment and accountability and communication and focus and lessons that we have learned and can share with each other. But I think there is also a piece of it that it's about the commitment to a cultural change. As we have heard this morning, um, agriculture is responsible for 70% of deforestation, 70% of um, water use, and responsible for feeding 7 billion people coming soon to become 10 billion people. So um, how can we together change to a culture where we don't have, as we also heard this morning, 600 million people dealing with obesity while so many go home hungry every night. These are huge issues that affect us all. Um, you talked about there are solutions that are out there. From your experience, tell me a bit more about the solutions that you see out there. So Rainforest Alliance, our, our mission, just to put into context here, we are working to protect biodiversity and improve livelihoods of local communities by transforming land use practices, business practices, and consumer behavior. We're working in about uh, 60 plus countries, 60 to 80 countries, and, re and working with about 1.3 million farmers. We're focusing on productive landscapes. So whether is seeing the results of sustainable agriculture on increasing productivity of small uh, holders in growing cocoa in Côte d'Ivoire, where we've seen them triple uh, their income and basically due to tripling productivity, increasing significantly productivity without um, paying a cost to the environment, actually uh, much the reverse. That, that is a, a, a solution we like seeing. Or uh, seeing farmers in Kenya bring uh, water systems back where rivers had uh, dried by bringing back native trees um, around water systems. We are seeing many solutions or solutions in, in, uh, of sustainable uh, production of coffee in Guatemala where they have been uh, able to deal with diseases such as Roya. How part of the challenge, it's exciting and promising and encouraging to see this isolated um, good cases. Now, we we need, to, um, we need to ensure, and what Rainforest Alliance is doing right now is looking at innovative ways and in use of technology to bring some of the solutions that we see in Guatemala to coffee growers in Vietnam, or what we are seeing in Cote d'Ivoire to Indonesia and so on. And it's yes. an important point, isn't it? Because you talked about isolated good examples, and of course you look at some of the world's most threatened ecosystems, but there is good work going on there. But it's no use to read across 
those big ambitions of the Sustainable Development Goals if they remain isolated. How important is it for influencers, campaigners, people from business, government and people from the Rainforest Alliance to come together and discuss these issues and share? Absolutely, it's critical. This is really uh, what it's going to take for us as a society to move into a to, to, to move and to together build a sustainable future. We do, we do have a, a complex challenge here and its isolation is not going to uh, uh, bring us the result that we all seek. It is going to take businesses, civil society, governments, producers and, and uh, within all sectors to really come up with solutions. And it's not just about, uh, we, we are at an exciting time right now where governments and, and businesses have made uh, exemplary commitments for <laughs> deforestation-free supply chains and so on. Now it's about accountability. How are we going to measure progress and keep everyone accountable? So it's absolutely important that we all come together to address these issues. And we cannot afford to take a lot of time. We have, in my, in my opinion, a short window of opportunity to address these issues. And it's really only together that we will be able to address them. Anna, thank you very much. Accountability, and it needs to be now. It's an important message for the conference today. Absolutely. Enjoy it. Thank you.